Welcome back to Lazy Cat Reactions. I'm so glad you're here with me. Today is going to be the next episode of Walker. Uh, I'm still reeling from last week's reveal of Jerry being involved in Emily's murder, so I cannot wait to see how this is going to go. So I am glad you're here with me. Hey, this is Kaylee Bryant. A new episode of Legacies is coming up next on the CW. Okay, well, firstly, I don't like that there's a little bit of a break until April 8th, but that's probably due to uh, the fact that they had to shut down filming when the, the weather hit in Texas, so can't really deal with that. Um, major twist with Mickey finding out that she, her mother is, well, her mother is her mother. Um, it's just kind of like the thing that I was saying with my Nancy Drew reacts, how Nancy, spoilers for people, uh, how Nancy found out that her parents actually adopted her. It's the same thing. The people who adopt you are your parents. You know, just bot, just bottom line, because they're the ones who take the time, they raise you, they spend all, all the money, they love you. Um, they are your parents. So I can understand her being upset, of course, but she will come to realize that Everything Adriana has done has, of course, been for her. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to, you know, see more of that, see how that plays out. Um, I think Trevor is having second thoughts about betraying Walker and those guys. I think he might actually betray his dad when push comes to shove. Because he does seem to like Stella. And I think he respected Walker for, you know, coming in and, and breaking up the fight and stuff like that. So, um, so I think we're going to have, you know, a bit of conflict with that with, with Trevor's father uh, and Trevor and Trevor make, having to make a hard decision. And I think he's going to make the decision for Walker and his family. I could be wrong, but it just kind of seems like it's going to go that way. I knew something was going to happen to the guys there in Mexico, but the car was surprising. I actually thought they would be in the car and they'd hear like a beep or something when it would go off. So but then obviously they would die and they're part of the cast, so that can't happen. So obviously someone knows they're there. The question is, well, I was going to say the question is who, but the question is obvious because the gallery owner commented about it. So obviously... We've got more going on with that. And technically they threatened, you know, the life of a, the captain of, like, the Walker Texas Rangers. So that's probably going to result in charges. But it might not because it's in Mexico and not the United States. Um, so, great episode. I, I'm loving the dynamic between Mickey and Cordell. You know, as partners, they, of course, do get close. I've been sitting here thinking to myself, like, you know, are they going to go the dynamic of a romantic relationship between them? And I know I've said before in videos I'm not really for that right now, especially because she's with Trey, and she and Trey are so cute. And, you know, the thing, of course, when you're cops and rangers and stuff like that, is you're close with your partner anyway. I think you, you know, your partner basically probably knows you than your actual spouse does. Uh, just because you spend so much time together and everything, and they are basically your rock, or as I said, your six. Um, so I think we're going to see more of that, you know, more of them growing close. I don't necessarily, like I said, want it as a romantic relationship. I like her with Trey. I want her to be a Trey. Again, if it's a few years down the road, that's fine. So I think right now they are just trying to kind of get them to kind of become close as partners because you can be. You can be close and have and be friends. You know, they're partners and they're friends. And there's nothing wrong with him having Mickey as a best friend. So I like that. I do like that she told him because when, when there were 
when they were there on the phone and he said, do you need me to come to you? Uh, he says, I'll go right now. Obviously, she had told him what happened. And I thought that, that was really brave of her because who knows if she told Trey yet. She may have told Walker before telling Trey. But also, you know, again, that's kind of that whole thing, the whole dynamic of them becoming close because um, she mentioned it to him. And knowing Mickey, I figured that she probably would have just not said anything, that she would have been really closed off. So that's progress on, on her side. So next episode of Walker is done. Disappointed that I'm going to have to wait till April 8th to see another. But again, I believe that's because of the, the snowstorm that hit there in, in February that knocked the power out and everything. They needed a few extra weeks, I think, to get caught up. So um, let me know in the comments what you thought of this react, um, what you thought of the episode, again, how you think things are going to go. I'm so happy to have you here with me, my lump cat. This one is Alice, whose who's back you can see. Um, feel free to hit the subscribe button for more content. You can follow me on Instagram at Lazy Cat Reactions. I'm hoping to uh, post some stuff. I'm going to be hopefully working on filming some movies and stuff for my Patreon channel, Movie Reacts. So um, be sure to follow me over there for more content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.